in spiritual life there are times when you feel as if your spiritual journey is progressing as if you are going to a deeper realm to a deeper level there are times when your meditation is very good when you feel that you are on the path to realization to freedom to enlightenment to the breaking of the bondages of ignorance and illusion but what happens is as you progress and you feel that you are going deeper and deeper and your meditation is getting better and everything is going good in your spiritual life what happens then the sense gatas the reactions of mind held deep within the subconscious get an opportunity because of your deep meditation to rise to the surface and you find that various um situations may present themselves which are difficult which steer you away from your spiritual life which give you struggle with spiritual life you may find that your peace and equanimity is disturbed by outside circumstances and that the struggles in your life become such that they tend to wash over you like a wave and disrupt your equanimity your peace and your spiritual joy and then again as you continue your practice that sense of joy begins to arise again that sense of connectedness to divine being the sense of wholeness of all of life begins to arise again out of the disturbances that have been in the mind and a peace and calm settle but as you continue in your spiritual journey a point comes of deep self inquiry where you must ask yourself deeply sincerely who am i what is this life of mine about and there are choices to be made with that question choices about what are your priorities what are your choices your desires deep within and you may find that the desires of your worldly life conflict with your desires of your sp- towards your spiritual life and you are to place them in to try to resolve them to bring them together or you may find that you are in a spiritual void that you have hit an emptiness a dark night of the soul where all that you have believed all that you have done for so many years all of the spiritual practices seem to just be without meaning the communities that you have had the beliefs that you have shared seem to not fully excite you fully contain you you begin to question everything that you have thought everything that you have assumed that you knew the teachings you have received the teachers you have had you begin to question you begin to wonder
When this happens, this time period in life, when there are such struggles, it is easy to lose your way, easy to become confused, easy to turn away, to try to shut off spiritual life because it is too difficult. But that doesn't work either. For once you have touched your inner self, the deeper realms, you know a truth within you that is real, that is valid, that brings you to a sense of wholeness. And so begins the journey in truth, the journey that is completely sincere, where you inquire within to find the answers to the deeper questions of your life. Perhaps the beliefs that you have acquired, the communities you have been a part of, they all may fail you, but what will not fail you is your relationship to the divine is your internal connection to the one eternal self cultivated in your practice cultivated through your meditation that will not fail you and when you let go of beliefs let go of the ideas you have held and you come to the simple truth of your own being and your relationship to that deep eternal love that abides within you, your relationship to that omnipresent consciousness all around you and within you. Then you come to authentic truth, truth that is your truth not what somebody has said to you, not any beliefs that you have agreed with, but it is a truth that you discover within yourself, a validity of your own being. For ultimately, it is between you and your own divine essence that the path lies. It involves no one else. In that relationship you have to that deep essence within you, to that deep truth, to that deep love, to that undying consciousness, eternal being, to that divinity which is the core of your being. The relationship you have to that divinity is the truth that will not fail you. It is the path that will always be there for you. And from that divine essence is the guidance, is the knowledge, is the way through the darkness that will lead you from the unreal to the real, 
from darkness to light, from death to immortality. Following that internal light, Your own being becomes illumined. And the path opens before you. What you need is given to you. It is a matter of grace. Not something you have earned not something you have accomplished. But when you come to the end of all of your achievements, your accomplishments, your ideas, and your beliefs, and you surrender, then you are ready to feel that grace that shower of grace and love that has always been there. That is always there for you. That will illumine the path forward from within. a love that will hold you in your darkest hours and bring light to you and knowledge. That is the inner path. That is your path. Your personal, unique, relationship, your way, given by grace, a gift. From your most precious inner beloved, That is the way home. All right.